you're helping all these people. Then on the other side of the speakers or the earbuds or whatever, yeah. you don't know who you're helping. Right. But how in the world did you get started on this journey yeah. of connecting people to Jesus through through this? Um, honestly, man, I, I always had a love for it. Music's always been in my family. Mm -hmm. So we, we did like a mixtape for some kids at our church. Okay. Um, I always knew I like I used to freestyle at the tables in the lunchroom. Oh yeah. Uh, I remember when like the clips came out with a song, a song called "Grinding," and it has a really, really popular, iconic beat. And you could like make the beat like with your hands. So they would make okay. the beat on the table, and we're like freestyling to the beat, and uh, it was just a really, really amazing time because that's kind of where you like hone your skills, and get your reps, and you get your practice in. Yeah. Um, kind of fast forward a little bit, we did a, a mixtape for the youth group at my church. Uh, at Seeds of Greatness and a couple of us decided to like get together and try to perform form a group So I was in that group for maybe about a year two years uh, maybe about three years uh, And then the other members of the group decided to kind of move on to other things and I dropped it and because I was going through a really difficult time in life um, And that's kind of where our paths intersected and yeah. I came to this church for a little bit um, And God told me and I said God if you want me to do music Give it back to me and one of my producers just called me, and he doesn't give beats away. He charges almost a thousand dollars for a beat. He was like, "Here's here's five beats. I just want to see what you can do." And I'm like, "Okay, God. Hold I on. guess this is what I'm supposed to do." Yeah. Um, and I just wrote out my story. I just wrote out my testimony and the lyrics. Put them in song. And God just breathed on it. And this is it's kind of the rest. And here you are. Yeah. And it seems like to me you're loving the journey. I am. I'm enjoying the journey. Yeah, yeah. Because you're doing what you're supposed to do. Right. Yeah. What would you like to see happen, not only for your own sure. music ministry, but let's say for Christian hip hop mm -hmm. in general? Okay. Because it's such a powerful tool to sure. use. What, what, what would you like to see happen? I mean, I would love to see um, in my own ministry and in, for Christian hip hop in general, for God to just um, take it to the highest levels possible. Um, and, and the reason I say that is because hip-hop is the most consumed genre as of last year okay. so more people listen to hip-hop music than any other genre of music I mean hip-hop is everywhere and because hip-hop affects and influences so many you see the power there the power is, there's influence the power there is people want to live a certain lifestyle well why can't we show them Jesus through that same conduit of music yeah. so we, we show them Jesus through hip-hop we show them our pain and our scars and our story and just put it to a hip-hop message because the message is so popular because it's reaching people, because it's helping people, um, and because no matter what, hip hop's not going anywhere. Yeah, it's in movies, it's in politics, it's in TV, it's in sports. You know, that's true. Yeah, it's everywhere. It just hit me when you said that. Yeah, like if you think about it, Cardi B is now speaking about the election. So if you never cared about the election, but you cared about Cardi B, you're going to tune into the election. Okay. Just based off of what she's saying, because you care about her. So okay. Because I love Jesus. As long as I'm displaying an amazing message through hip hop, you can come to Jesus through the message that I'm giving, through the life that I'm living, and then see, oh, you can be dope, you can do these things, you still love Christ. You know what I mean? So it's like a universal medium for today's generation. Absolutely. That's okay, exactly a pipeline. It is. it is. What a pipeline. Yeah. So you can talk about all kinds of issues. Yep. I mean, you can layer, you can layer these issues out, yep. bang the nail right on the head, yep. And the person who's following hip hop is yeah. going to be like totally dialed in. Yep. Wow. That's why this music needs to really hit the world like Absolutely. ten times stronger than it is. Absolutely. That's why we need guys like you. Amen. And Absolutely. you know, we're sitting here in Reach Gospel Radio Studios, and of course, you know, our main format is today's gospel and right. so forth. But I know, you know, I'm in prayer and trying to seek God's wisdom on how to creatively. Uh, get into the gospel hip hop vein mm -hmm. more aggressively yeah. and more strategically and I just see this too as the music of the streets yeah absolutely what a time to go absolutely. up in the hood right America's cities need a whole lot of rescue yeah they do they need help and this is a part of the way to pursue it right heard a preacher say one time, don't touch the message. Don't ever touch it. Right. But you better examine your methods. Yeah. Yeah. Brother, thank you for your method. No problem. Loving you for it. God be the glory, man. I'm, I'm honored to be used. Hey, the best is yet to come.
Definitely. I'm going to say by faith we're just warming up. How's that? Facts. It's the warm up. Facts. Just all right. Up. Definitely. Kyle, love you. Love you too, sir. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate Keep going, you, man. all right? Okay. Keep going. Thank you.